Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel, it's Kiara. Today I have this all purple look for you guys. So, if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Jackie, 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 Jackie. I'm using the Anastasia Jackie Aya palette today. And I started this look. But, I'm letting this base dry before I add on um, the rest of that darker purple in some. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've already primed my lid with the P. Louise Blank Canvas Base. So that's what you see on this eye right here. And I'm just going in with the shade Ginger in this Jackie Ina palette. Um, it's a light brown neutral color. Y'all see these edges though? These edges are laid. They are laid, baby, laid. So now that we have that, I'm going to take the shade Big Wig and go around my crease. And I'm just going to pack it up there. This palette is very, very pigmented. Um, my husband got me this palette and I love it. Like you do not need a lot of shadow to pack on that look. It's very pigmented. So they did a good job with this one. So I'm just packing around to get the shape that I want and then I'm going to go in and blend it out. But I just want to round it out so that it doesn't look too flat. Y'all see this pigment though? Like this pigment is everything. And then when I'm using a flat brush like this, I like to turn it sideways to kind of blend those, those edges out just a bit. But I like to keep that concentrated dark purple right, right in that crease area. So we're just blending. It is a little harder to blend with this brush. It's not the best brush, but we're gonna use it today. So I'm just going to add a little bit more in there and when I'm doing a cut crease I like to bring that color all the way down to my tear duct just so that where the crease isn't going there is some shadow right there. Like this palette is very pigmented. Uh, I do have a mirror right here. I don't know why I'm looking down like that. I got a whole mirror. Oop, my brush fell out. I got a whole mirror right here that I can use and I'm all the way down there. But I just want to make sure y'all can see. Ooh, this mirror is so clean. Oh yeah, I like this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So I'm just going to keep blending that out. And I'm also bringing it down um, a little bit into my crease so that I know for sure wherever I don't cut my crease, there is shadow there. To help blend out that line, I'm just going back in with a little bit of this ginger shade. Again, the ginger shade, sorry, the ginger shade is this, um, this lighter brown color right here. And I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm dabbing it around where that purple is and blending it out. And it almost instantly gets rid of that line. So that is a good way. I know a lot of people start off, they'll do their crease first and then go up and do that color. But I don't know. I like to do it this way. No particular reason. Everybody has their own way. And I'm going to add a little bit more purple. And then I'm also going to add some of that purple right up under on the, on the outside so I can finish blending it out. So I'm just adding a little bit in here for right now. Okay, so now that we have that done, 
Today I'm using my um, P. Louise Acid Rain Bases. This is the shade Ibiza. It is a lilac color. And I'm also using the brush that came with the set. Um, this cut crease brush right here. There's already a little bit of uh, product up there. And I'm just going to start by cutting my crease. Now, using a brush like this is really good for beginners because it's wide enough so that you can just make that round um, crease without trying to keep your hand too steady, if that makes sense. Using a thinner brush is a lot easier to have jagged lines. Using a rounded brush, a rounded concealer brush like this is really good when you want to cut your crease. So I'm just going to start on the inner corner of my eye and I'm just going to draw around my crease. Pretty much the way this um, the concealer is right here or the base, not concealer, the way the base is right here, I'm just following that shape. And you always want to take your time. Take your time because it is easy to mess up. So just take your time, go slow and just go around. Keep your eye closed and don't pull your lid when you're drawing. You want to be light handed, as light handed as possible. I'm just adding a little bit more, it dried up some. And with these bases, you all need a little bit. Like I took out way too much. I'm not even gonna use all of this. So you only need a little bit because these bases are very, very pigmented. So again, you just want to take that brush and go around your crease like so and right there we already have the inside done and you just want to continue to follow that around And then now I'm just adding the rest of that color to my lid and I'm just dabbing it. And then once you draw, you just want to make sure that they are as even as possible. So you would just want to go back in, go back in, look at both eyes and make sure that they're even. As you can see, this eye is naturally higher than this one. And so I'm going to raise this crease up just a little bit once I get done with this side. And these are supposed to dry matte within 60 seconds too. So you see how this one comes up, it's more angled up. I'm going to do the same on this one. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of this Ibiza canvas or base. Sorry, I keep saying canvas of this Ibiza base. And I'm just going to go around more, make it more rounded, I guess, because this one's kind of flat. Okay, and so now they are both rounded more. I'm just going to, okay, I don't know where it cut off at, but I just finished cutting my crease and now I'm just blending. Uh, I'm taking this brush right here and I'm taking a little bit of that same purple shade, Big Wig, and I'm just lightly tapping over um, that P. Louise base to create a little bit of um, a gradient, if you will between the two shades so that it blends together. So now that we have that blended out, and that purple shade definitely darkens up on the edges too, which is what I like. It makes it really dark once it's packed in. So now that we have that done, I'm going to add a little bit of trust issues to the inner corner of my eye. So I'm just taking a smaller um, flat brush. I'm just going to pick some of that up and I'm just going to add it to the corner, the inner corner of my eye.
like so. So we basically have the eyes done. And now we're gonna do this liner. I am using my NYX liner. And since I already have this tape up here, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to draw my wing. Now that we have that done, I am going to do my face and I'll come back and we'll finish up. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys love this look. Um, of course, as you guys saw, I used my Jackie Ina Anastasia palette as well as the P. Louise Ibiza base. So if you guys love this video, don't forget to like this video, leave the comments down below, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.